What's up guys, this is Brian again from Lake Kicker Scuba and Marina and it is a cold, wet, dreary, rainy day. Um, I'm actually headed down two lakes below ours. I'm headed to a place called Lake Norman. There's a marina down there. I just got a call from a guy said that he lost his callan off the uh, back of his boat. If you don't know what a callan is, it goes over the top of your motor. So if you got an outboard engine, it's the cap part of the engine. Well, said he was in working on his boat or trying to pull it out or something and he dropped his callan in the water. He thinks it's about 17 to 20 foot deep, but it is kind of centralized right there to his dock. So hopefully it won't be too bad of a surge. But with the two hurricanes we just went through and all the runoff, I'm not sure what the visibility is going to be like. But I'm by myself this morning and I don't have too much time to actually go and do this search because we have the haunted pool adventure at the Conover YMCA tonight that we're hosting as well, which I'll make you a completely separate video on. But I just wanted to show you, even in conditions like this, even when we have no classes planned for today or nothing going on, we still dive. We still go out and do stuff like this all the time. Um, the water's not too difficultly cooled off yet. It's around that 68 degree mark. But uh, but yeah, we're gonna go out in this rain. We're gonna jump in. Hopefully we'll have a, at least a few foot of visibility. And hopefully I'll get his callan back for you or get it back for him. But, um, but come along with us today and we'll see how successful we are.
just like that. You have no idea how that went. Just hold that right there. If you will grab right here like a pistol. Okay. And I'll lift. Okay. Set it right up. One, two, three, good. Perfect. And we gotta find a place with no nails. Alright guys, so I just got finished up, had a very successful search. Uh, I was actually very shocked it didn't take me long at all. I'm going to say total submergence was maybe less than a minute, maybe a full minute underwater. But uh, basically I set up a downline. Um, I descended down that downline until I got to the bottom. I used it as my reference point to do a circle search. And pretty much on my first turn or my first circle about three quarters of the way through it, I felt my fin touch something. Um, it felt pretty solid, what, it, what I assumed to be the object I was looking for, which was a motor cowling. And so I held onto the line with my left hand, my right arm uh, moved down my right leg until I reached the cowling. Um, and then of course verified what it was before I released off the line, picked it up, brought it to the surface and made a very, very happy customer. Uh, like I said, conditions were very, very bad. I'm going to say if I had six inches of visibility, I would have been lucky. But, um, but yeah, it was a very successful search. Really poor conditions outside right now. It's according to my truck here, it's 44 degrees. Uh, raining like crazy, but yeah, good successful search and very happy with it. My customer was very happy. But guys, if you like these videos, do me a favor and definitely hit the like button and definitely share them. Make sure you check out our playlist on our salvage playlist. You'll see all types of videos like these. Um, but if you got any questions or comments, please put it down in the comment section below. I, I enjoy uh, talking with you guys and helping you out and giving you some pointers here or there. Or if you can give me some pointers, by all means, guys, I really enjoy learning from you just as much as you learn from me. So definitely give me some pointers down in the comment section below. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.